And uh, I was surprised because I had never been to the South before. I had all these ideas of what people in the South would be like. I found they're pretty much the same as people from the Midwest. I thought they'd be different. They're, not, they're a little bit larger. <laughs> Which it had never occurred to me was fucking possible. Uh, <laughs> well, we're fat here too. Uh, <laughs> they talk a little slower. They say y'all instead of whatever. I don't know what we say. Use mugs or whatever we say. I don't know, I don't know what we say. That's about it, though. That's all I really noticed. The only real major difference that I noticed when I was down there is that a few of them do still choose to display the flag of a long-defeated would-be separatist state 150 years later to, uh, I guess that's, to express their frustration at not being allowed to own slaves. I don't know what the fuck that is. Do you ever see that, a Confederate flag in public? It's like, mm, mm. <laughs> This does not mean keep going. <laughs> <laughs> That's in your window. We can see that. You know. <laughs> when people will try and defend it too, they'll be like, uh, "The rebel flag. That's not about slavery. Okay, that's about a way of life." <laughs> like, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> way of life that some people had <laughs> because they owned other people <laughs> it's like you can't what what it wasn't all porch swings and sweet tea for everybody <laughs> you can't separate that out huh? you don't see a lot of germans flying the swastika <laughs> well, it's not about the genocide just love that good old nazi culture <laughs> Nothing against the Jews, I just like the trains to run on time! What? What the fuck are you talking about? That's the same fucking thing. I was down there, I saw a Confederate flag bumper sticker. It was on the same bumper as another sticker that said, Jesus is Lord. Little contradiction right there, I would argue. Um, what would Jesus do? I don't know for sure. Never met the guy. Uh, but I'm guessing first order of business is probably grabbing a razor blade and scraping that racist dog shit off the back of his F-150. Just a guess. That's just a guess based on the pamphlets I've received on Michigan Avenue. I don't, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the Jesus. I, uh, That's Mike Leibovitz, Two Slob Household. Get it now from Stand Up Records. People ask me, are you an observant Jew? Like, no, I'm an oblivious one, obviously. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, 